Greetings, my friends, and welcome to more Let's Play Grandy 2 Anniversary Edition, episode number 73. In our previous video together, we had the realization as Ryudo upon waking up in the inn that Grail Mountain might be the best place for us to find Malphus. And as we were beginning our ascent of the mountain itself, Gata appeared suddenly and... I'm beginning to suspect that shenanigans might be at hand and it is possible that Gata is in collusion with Melfis. I'm not entirely sure, but the reason why I make that statement is because Gata approached us and randomly handed us a note from Melfis that said where we're supposed to meet him and Gata's explanation was basically that he found it posted on our door. So I have two thoughts about that. One, why didn't we as Ryudo and crew see this note posted on the door when we went to Ryudo's house? And number two, why was Gata hanging around our fucking house anyway? I don't know, does anyone else consider that suspect? I fucking do. So either way, we can't really do much about it other than take Gata at face value. We were planning on heading this way anyway. So now we just have all the more reason to suspect that our brother will be waiting for us. So let's just keep going. I think we have a little bit of poking and prodding remaining for this episode. Oh, I see that shit. Now the question is, how the fuck do I get it? That's what I want to know. Oh my god. Stop it. I'm not interested in hearing your nonsense. Face paint? This game has some of the most peculiar items. That much is sure. Okay. Let's scroll, scroll, scroll. Face paint, face paint. I don't see it. Let me very carefully... I don't see it here. There we go. Plus five to act level. <laughs> That's a cool interaction. Wouldn't you guys say so? I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. Well, let's kill these fuckers while they're not paying attention. Love getting the initiative. And I think a good burn will make short work of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Game over. Beautiful. Healing incense. I think that's the first time we've spotted that item. So let's quickly check that out. And then we'll keep going although we haven't used any of our items so restores 1000 hp Woo! definitely the first time we've encountered that which is pretty nice but all right nothing else remains over this way oh oh this looped around full circle i guess nothing was awaiting us over here very strange looking statues also i want to add let's fuck around with these birds now, I'm trying to remember what was most effective against them. I don't recall. But, you know, we've had pretty good luck with burning them. Oh, shit, Elena. I completely spaced and have not been managing your HP. Well, we'll take care of that when this fight is over. Hopefully, she'll survive. I think she'll be okay. We will have Merig. What will we have Merig do? Shall we just boom? And we need to see Healer Plus. I don't think we've seen it, have we? Let's just have Elena auto. And if we can, let's check out the new healing spell. Hopefully we'll have a chance. Oh yeah, we definitely will. I was going to say if this is highly effective against two of them, but I guess at the very least, Elena wasn't going to be able to take that bird out. Oh, really? That's healer plus? Well, I gotta confess, that's a bit disappointing. I was anticipating there being a special animation for it, but it's not too different from some of the other healing animations. It just literally heals for more. No other notable difference there. Oh, well, I guess you can't have it all. All right, you guys. I regret not just going all out because Elena's already back down into the yellow. All right, we'll try to take out those two. And we'll see. Oh, yeah, those two are donezo. And I think with what we've got remaining, we should be able to auto-attack this last one. 
Perfect. While I'm thinking about it, I should probably heal up my entire party. Woo, and there was Ryudo's level. Exactly what we were looking for. Let's go ahead. Uh, I was thinking about using an item. But we'll just stick with magic for now. Let's cast all healer. And keep on rolling. So that looks like that's it. Regarding what we needed to be looking at over here. That seems almost too straightforward though, doesn't it? Like there should be more secret pathways, I think. Everywhere else that we've gone... Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! As I was starting to say, it just feels like in the previous places where we've been, there have been more little passageways or hidden areas. But I'm not... I'm not seeing anything here, and I think I've been doing a fairly decent job of hugging the walls and making sure I poke my nose where it arguably may not belong. Oh, I see that nut over there. In before, it's a bullshit pop nut. How do I get over there? Hmm. I guess we'll loop around, and are these guys serious? Let's see if we can get them from behind. Oh, yeah, baby. Beautiful. And I should probably take care of Elena. So hard. Ah, you crimson claws. Good to see you again. Whatever, we'll just heal everyone here in battle. Oh my god, Merig. I never remember what's the most effective against these guys, but you know what? If anything, I'll make short work of them. It'll be Hal Nato. Beautiful. This might be overkill, but let's just follow up with the flame. Burn flame. Oh, or, you know, start with it, because <laughs> Ryudo's taking his sweet time, charging his shit up. Oh, my gosh. I think when in doubt, burn flame is just the answer, almost always. Even if it seems against actual fire monsters. Seems like it is a good choice all the time. Oh, my gosh. What a disruptive spell. Almost like... The actual tornado move or ability that Tio has. I'd have to compare the animations side by side or cast them side by side, but they look fairly similar, do they not? And a patience nut. Let's just scroll on through and wow, was Elena seriously like five points away from a level? Oh god, not you. These tree things. I'm not trying to hear this. Which way is going to take us to treasure? And which way will take us where we need to go? Looks like this might be the path to treasure. Let's skip the frogs. Potion of Azure. Have we seen this? I don't think so. Oh, here it is. Restores 1500 HP. Holy crap. That is a lot of HP, y'all. Ah, whatever. Let's just kill him. Why not? After all, you can never have too many special coins and magic coins. And woo, there is that level we were looking for. Perfect. And I think with that potion out of the way, we know what our direction needs to be. So we have no choice but to fuck with these trees. All right, beautiful. Got another healing incense, which we'll probably never use, but it is what it is. Okay, so with them down for the count. Let's push this bad boy. Surely we have to be somewhat close to the peak. I don't remember what exactly... There was an area that the note Malphus left for us, you know, allegedly. Uh, there was a place that he described he wanted to meet us at. I don't remember where that is, but <gasps> pause on that. Let's take a look at this grail fruit. What the hell is this? Okay. So it's not a special nut. Let's see. Grail fruits. Grail fruits. Not an attack item, so probably a recovery. I don't see it. Grail fruits. Guys, why did... Okay, there it is. Oh, and I've had 
a few of these. Oh, I'm sure I probably bought some of them thinking about it. Which, it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go ahead and use one or two. Ryudo has pretty much no mana remaining. Look at this excellent haul, y'all. Another fucking pretty bracelet. But we'll take it. All right, let us continue. Let's see. Oh, God. I honestly do not want to see another one of these fucking trees. Oh, we can head up. Oh, I see some shit over there. So it might be inevitable. Slow your roll, tree dude. Oh, my God. A healing fruit. Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. Let's just get the coins out of it. And I was surprised. Get out of here. More trees down, but nothing to show for it, unfortunately. Not too worried about it. I am just glad. Oh, I don't have to listen to their bullshit anymore. Oh, their sounds. I think interesting audio bite choice for a man-eating tree. For it to squawk like a bird. I mean, that's not the direction I would have taken it in, but... I suppose nobody cares about my opinion. So onward to Grail Mountain, road number two. Fingers crossed that we can find a place to rest up and or... Oh, God. Snakes. Oh. You know, I have to confess. I'm actually not one of those girls that's spooked by the presence of snakes. They don't really bother me. Okay, another enemy chopped down. I guess we have no choice but to face those snakes. And yeah, as I was beginning to share with you guys, snakes have never been critters that I've been wary of. But I won't lie. Perhaps I would be a bit afraid of fucking pit vipers. All right. Ryudo is all out of mana, so we're just going to wombo combo him. And you guys know the drill. Let's leave it to some burn flame. Oh, no. We'll see how much it does. Uh, so so. I wouldn't say that was the best, but it works. And then shall we try Tremor? We'll see what can happen from. Oh, yeah. Tremor's what we should have gone with from the beginning. Beautiful. So from the pit vipers, we get uh, just some purifying herbs. I'm getting a little wary. I very much want to find a save. Seeing the... Oh, no. Can I walk through that? Or I need to go... Oh, we cannot go this way. Seeing the graphical glitch that occasionally comes up makes me worried that the game is thinking about crashing on me. And I am not going to lie to you guys. I will be fucking pissed if it crashes right in front of a save. So maybe I need to ignore some of these guys, find a place to save, and then I can come clear them once I know life is good. Oh no, don't touch me. Leave me alone. Once I know life is good, and we're not going to lose all the progress we've made. Ooh, dark armor. Let's take a second. I'm imagining this would be for Ryudo. Ooh, plus one SP recovery when damaged. Hey, that's pretty fucking nice. So does that mean then you could, Merig, instead get the flame armor, which drops your attack a wee bit, but it does raise your defense considerably. So I think I'm going to opt to switch him out in that way. And taking a look here at Tio's options, I could remove the earthen cuirass, for the lion field garb, but I don't think it's worth it, honestly. And I highly doubt Elena. Oh, she could wear it. But for her, certainly it's not worth it. So, okay. Let's keep going and see if we can find a place to save. Because Rabbit is getting very fucking nervous. Oh my god. I don't know if there's any way we can avoid this. Don't touch me! No! Okay, we chopped those trees down. <laughs> no? Okay, I'll stop. But real talk, I will dick around with those last two that were idling over at the beginning of this section as soon as I feel 
like I found a place for us to kind of rest up. Although I will say there were no graphical glitches or errors while I was in that last fight. So maybe it was just a one time. <gasps> How the fuck do I get down there? A one time dealsy? Oh, well I have to, ooh. Maybe I should just go back and handle business and take care of those last two trees. Just because I don't want to miss out on the special coins or the XP. I'm paranoid that shit will crash, but I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. So let me clear both of these out, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, everyone was taken out over here, and Merig should. Oh, there it is. Along with Pedo Face. Okay, friends. So, with that being done, let's head back to this new section and see. My goodness, it always happens this way where as soon as we're prepped for. How the fuck? I guess I have to go around. As soon as we're prepped for a new. No! No! Leave me alone. Okay, there we go. For a new section, and I end the episode, that's when I find the save that I was looking for. Well, we won't sweat it too much. Let's run over here, open this chest for a move blessing, meh, bonds of trust, meh, but an earthen axe, possibly amazing. Merig. Oh, yeah, this is an upgrade in every single sense of the word. Look at that increase to attack as well as defense. We are absolutely going to equip that on you, Merig. And we'll spend just another minute or two poking about. Oh, we could have taken. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's a tarp. Good thing we chose the right path the first time. Are we really going to be stuck fighting these snakes? No, we're actually good. Maybe I will just skip out on them. I think we have quite a few special coins and our XP isn't too bad. I just want a save. Oh my God, I would never ever walk across stuff like this. Ryudo and squad are fucking brave. Oh my god, we're getting so many coins. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to gonna commit to that statement that we're not going to backtrack. Oh my god, to kill those other... You know what? I'm just going to keep you guys in tow. We should be able to kill them quickly. And as I say that, then they get the initiative. These fucking birds. But as I was starting to say, I think I'm just going to commit to not backtracking for those other monsters. I think we passed up on some snakes and then like one set of snakes one set of frogs is that correct I think we'll survive without that XP and without those respective coins I just want to kill everything and be about my business surely we have to be close what could possibly be remaining I'm getting desperate uh, Tremor's probably not going to work too well so let's crackle. And then Ryudo, you have to just physically attack. Yeah, Ryudo's been out of mana for... Whew, it's been a while. Yes, rest in peace to you. Well, how have you guys been doing? Hopefully, you're all well. Like I said, I'm in fairly great spirits due to the news that I re received the promotion after all. So I... Honestly, have nothing at all that I could complain about. Well, you know, I could complain that I'm not a millionaire, but <laughs> it's not like that changes anything, so no value in that. Not gonna dwell on what isn't. Oh, really? This guy hasn't been touched? Let's see if we can maybe gangbang him. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. We will absolutely be healing after this. Ryudo's in red, Merig's in red, Elena's in yellow. But I'm just trying to stretch it out. Oh, Merig, when did you get poison? Maybe a while ago from one of those fucking trees? All right, my loves. Let's go ahead. Scattering stone. 
heal up. And then we will not belabor this. I, uh, what do I want to use? I have so many random items. I'm just going to use these. Whoa, my bad. And then Tio actually, uh, whatever. I was going to say Tio doesn't really need to be healed too much, but we'll just use an item either way. We have so many. I just want a fucking save. Is that so much to ask for, game? Don't make me run all the way back. All the way back? Is it going to do this to me? Oh, God. There are more snakes. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. In before. Oh, I was able to sneak. Oh, there it is. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. All right. So panic mode can officially be exited. We got to save. So now we can just run back to where. Oh, God. Where we kind of were starting our climb. Or, you know, I'll fight more snakes. You guys do not even understand how relieved I am. Like, whoo! And congratulations to Ryudo. Like, words cannot even begin to express how much I was starting to sweat it. So, we're all prepped and ready to continue exploring in our upcoming episode. I don't care if the game crashes, because we are set, we are saved, and I am a happy camper. So when we come back together in the next video, we'll probably start spending some of these special and magic coins, just because we've gotten quite a few, and I think it would be within our best interest to go ahead and divvy them up a bit. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. As always, I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. I'll see you very soon.